This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. A Northern Kentucky man is facing charges tonight in connection to the disappearance and death of a Cincinnati woman. According to court documents, Theodore Lamont Myers was already in police custody for an unrelated crime when he admitted to investigators that he buried 28 year old Khadidra Roberts. Her body was found Saturday near Palace Avenue and Spring Street in Ellesmere. Myers now faces abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence charges. Investigators say Robert's autopsy results are pending and Myers could face additional charges. President Joe Biden will be in the Buckeye State tomorrow to help Intel break ground on its $20 billion project. The president will talk about rebuilding American manufacturing through the recently enacted Chips and Science Act. It provides subsidies and tax benefits to companies that build and design semiconductors here in the U.S. Intel says the two factories being built just outside of Columbus will start producing semiconductors in 2025. All right, all, all you Bearcat fans, here you go. For the first time, football jerseys with players' names are available for purchase. It's part of a partnership with Fanatics for name, image, and likeness program. You see one of a select group of schools participating. It will allow student athletes to make money off of their names. They get a percentage of the revenue from each jersey sale. Let's get a check of the forecast. Here is Chief Meteorologist Steve Raleigh. Steve. Okay, a look at our forecast tonight then it is mostly clear and pleasant. I have a temperature of 59 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, we're going to be a bit warmer, mostly sunny and 84, still rain free. But as we look ahead to the weekend, that's well, a change. Your super nine day forecast shows that we're going to have a chance for some scattered showers into the afternoon and evening on Saturday. Then going into Sunday, well, a pretty good chance for rain and even heavy rain later into the evening. Heads up for the poncho.